Coney Island. A bit windy, but dry for now. Oh God, he says as the wind picks up. Hopefully, he can hear me. There's the uh, side of the castle. The clouds are looking fairly decent all around, even oh, near the castle. I've got a full day on the island today. I'm trying my level best to really slow down and by being trapped on the island by the tide, I have no choices. I think that's as good as you get. If you see what I mean about the, the grasses and the moving with his finger in the foreground, as the most of the move to catch the sun. I just hope I can get in the, the shot. The only problem I've got is the sky is extremely bright. The side of the castle is in shadow, so there's not a lot of detail, but can't control that. Now getting the elevation correct, it's going to be difficult. I don't want to go too low down because I lose the terracotta roofed hut to the side. And I don't want to go too high up because I'll lose the detail of the grasses. There's also some cars to the right hand side, which I'm going to have to keep an eye on. That sky is bloody wonderful. Right. Let's go. Probably going to do a mixture of long and short uh, exposures because I do want some movement in the grass. But I also, excuse my back, but I do want some movement in the grass. But I also want it to retain some detail. going to have to be using some filtration. The sun's to the left so I may be able to use a polarizer. I the cap off. Same pocket I always use for my own cap. Adapter on quick rocket blow. Polarizer on lead landscape polarizer. Wow, that's something that very rarely happens. It's screwed in first time. Exposure we get. Yes, that's the difficulty I'm having. I don't want the sky or the grasses. Full on and turn back at that. Yeah, it's kind of working. Depth of field preview, I don't need it on low ISO. So F16, 125th of a second, nothing blown, plenty of room to the right. In fact, I can probably drop it down to 100. A couple of test shots, yep, that'll do. F16, ISO 200, 100 of a second. Pop in the three stop, three stop hard gun, should I say. Yeah. 
Yeah, so there's quite a lot of detail in the castle. I'll try the three stop soft grid. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, it's only taking on the very tips. I think this is a bit low down either, low down as well. Little stopper. Shutter release. Get into the habit of doing that, make sure everything's locked off. So a little stopper. See each other for a second. Should have worked out one stop. Yeah, six for a second equals one second. I'll have a look. One second should be good to get some decent movement in the grasses. Just know it the wrong bloody grasses. Double check, everything's set up. Knock it down to one second. Yeah, one second is showing a little under it's paused to shelter. Shelter. One second is oh that's nice. What what I've got, because I mentioned the the, the winds shooting in and shooting out. I've got patches that are blurry, patches that aren't. That looks a bit nice. Yeah, there are sections when I zoom in through the scene, whether it's because there are different types of grass, I don't know. So, three fingers, three shots. So I'm mainly going for the sky now. Because when I do HDR on my Olympus, for some reason, even if I meter it perfectly, the sky, the exposures are always too long. So that should be 2.5 seconds, sixth of a second for the sky, and the average, which is 1.6. 1 1 nice. There's just one tiny, I'll bend that back, tiny bit of a uh, grass that's just too rigid. So that's two and a half, six of a second and 1.6. So I've got 1.6 which is the metre in average. Grass looks okay. Grass looks okay. Sky's gone. Sixth of a second. Sky's okay. Castle's gone into the shadow and the foreground's gone into shadow. And 2.5 seconds again as you'd expect the, shadow, the sky is completely gone. Nice. There's so much character in that castle from this side. You've got so many. Points of interest, as in you've got the terracotta little outbuildings. You've got the three upturned boats. You've got two fences. Well, you've got one fence that leads up to the castle from the left hand side. And you've got a, a footpath with a fence that leads to the castle from the right hand side. And it's a glorious castle. It looks a bit damp on this side, so you've got different contrasts. No flag. Should have a flag. Definitely going to be a panorama. The sky's looking well nice. I have to say, being captive as I am, is both a little unnerving because I can't get off. Not that I'm in any danger, but it's invigorating because I don't have to rush and I've, I've got to, for want of a better word, force myself to really slow down. It's going to rain at some point today. So I'm going to go further round past the, the, um, the kilns, I believe they are, to the very far side of the castle and see what's on the beach. Oh, it's lovely, even though the sun's very high in the sky. It's not too harsh. Even on this side of the castle, you might not be able to see it because, again, the dynamic range is extremely 
wide at the moment but the shadows to the bottom of the castle from the sun which is of above my left hand shoulder left shoulder out to harsh yeah pack up from here I'm gonna wander around as I said the back side of the castle and see what's around there on the the beach it's not a sand beach it's a pebble beach and people tend to build little pebble towers lovely clouds I'll show you these clouds, just as a little outro to this section. How cool are them? And the good thing about taking my time is... On, focus and expose. The good thing about being able to take my time is I've got my... my so I've got my... The Met Office pocket cloud book, which I can peruse. Yeah, keep it slow. Definitely aids me. I'm having trouble. I have to say, I'm having trouble not going flying around. Those who know me know what I'm like. I'll sit down for 10 minutes for a 10 minute break. Five seconds later, I'm up. Anyway, I'm off. See you soon. Ta da.